welcome to Monday. We made our pork butt on Saturday and we usually meal prep all of our meats over the weekend so that we can eat on them all week long, which is what we're going to do here. Now with it being a cool and dry and kind of cloudy day outside here in Kentucky, we're going with one of our favorite recipes, which is pozole or pozole. If you speak Spanish, which we don't really, so we call it pozole, but pozole is fine. Pozole or pozole is a Mexican soup that is based on pork and hominy. Now this is really, for us, this is kind of a three-part recipe. And what you're going to see here are a lot of the ingredients combined already because it goes really fast, especially in the beginning. Uh, so you don't want to be fumbling around in the pantry, finding your spices and things like that. You want to have them at the ready. So the first step is, of course, you have your pork already pulled and cooked, uh, but you have four tablespoons of oil heating up in your pot. Then you have a whole rather large yellow onion, all chopped up and ready to go. And then, as I mentioned with the spices, we went ahead and combined them. And what you have here, you have four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons of mild chili powder, and that's it for this first step. So you have your oil heating up. You're going to put your onions in to let them cook and get kind of translucent. And once that happens, you're going to add your spices. And this first step is really the main reason why you want to have your ingredients already prepped and combined. Because once you add those spices to that oil and the onions, it dries out almost immediately and it's really easy to scorch it. Uh, so have those at the ready and we'll get started and show you this first step. This is a section where you really just want to keep an eye on it. If you feel like it's had enough heat, you can go ahead and proceed to the next step. Now, after you have simmered your oil, onions, and spices for about two minutes, your next step almost immediately is going to be to add four cups of water and six ounces of tomato paste, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which is optional, but we like it in there because it adds a little heat. One and a half teaspoons of salt, and you can use kosher or sea salt, either one is fine. Now we have gone ahead and combined all of those things into this mixing bowl so that they are ready just to pour right into the pot. All right, so now for part two, you're going to add your tomato paste and spice mixture. And now we're going to add our extra two cups of water to this. So now that all those are combined, we are going to bring it up to a simmer before proceeding to step three. And that last step involves six cups of chicken broth, which you can either get like this, or if you have bouillon cubes, you can dissolve those in water. They work just as well. You have a seven ounce can of mild green chilies. Then you have two 15 and a half ounce cans of hominy, which you will want to drain before you put it into your soup. And for that final piece, you have your pulled pork that you already prepared. In our case, we have three cups ready to go into the pozole. Now that you've given everything a really good stir, you're going to reduce your heat to either low or simmer. And cover it and let all those flavors meld. That's it. <laughs> Now you can let it simmer for as little as 10 minutes, but we think that the longer you let it simmer and let all those flavors come together, the better it is. So let that thing sit on there for 
at half an hour, an hour at a really low heat. And the longer it sits there, the better it's going to get. So we'll see you here in a few. All right, once you have it in your bowl, a couple of optional things is to give it a couple of squeezes of fresh lime, which really adds some freshness to it. And then also a little bit of cilantro really adds a lot to this dish. Now, another thing you could do is add some shredded cheese if you want to, but to be honest, it really doesn't need it. There's your soup du jour. So we are on night two of our pulled pork experience and it's really simple tonight and totally different from last night. Tonight we're just having the pork itself, which you can top or not top. We like to use red onions, dill pickles, jalapenos, and this barbecue sauce from G Hughes, which we found when we were experimenting with the keto diet. It's sugar-free and really delicious for a diet-friendly barbecue sauce. But we also have really simple sides. We have steamed broccoli and cauliflower paired with sliced cucumber, sliced yellow onion that's mixed with mayonnaise, distilled white vinegar, and sugar. And that's it. Welcome to Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and we are still eating on that pork butt that we prepared on Saturday. Tonight also happens to be game night for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now they played last night, but because we're on the East Coast and we're kind of old at this point, we just can't stay up for 10 o'clock games that are going to be over around 12.30 or 1 a.m. So we save those until the next day, which makes tonight the perfect night for game food. And in addition to eating some of the pozole that we made on Monday night, we're making nachos tonight, which is really simple. Just a layer of tortilla chips, a layer of the pork, a layer of the cheese, and sometimes we mix it with barbecue sauce to add some of that barbecue feel to it. But tonight we're going to leave the pork as it is and let that flavor shine through. Instead, Catherine has gotten three different new kinds of salsas that we're going to try with our pork nachos. So that's what we're gonna do. Just keep it really simple, sit back, enjoy the game, and root for another Golden Knights victory. Welcome to Friday. Now, if it looks the same as Wednesday, that's because it kind of is. Last night, we had the pozole again because we're kind of lazy and it was a late night and we didn't get started on making the meal until late. So it is what it is, but what it is is delicious. Now, tonight is Friday night. Again, we have a Vegas Golden Knights game. So tonight we're making quesadillas. Now, for quesadillas, there are really only two ingredients, tortillas and cheese. But we have all this pork left over, so we're going to make pork quesadillas. So we have our tortillas, we have sour cream, all of our sauces from the other night. We have cilantro, lime, tomato, red onion, pork, and cheese, and butter, which makes everything better. I'm gonna start with cheese because that's what makes it all stick, right? Cheese. Puts the queso in queso. <laughs> <laughs> that it does, my love. Then I'm going to do the pork. And then I am going to put tomatoes on mine because I just like stuff like that. Press it down. Spreading butter on both halves because then we're gonna stick it in the frying pan and fry these suckers up. I think what I'll do though is transfer them to the frying pan and put the butter on the other half when I flip them. Okay. 
All right, come on, baby. All right, that does it for Pulled Pork Week here on the Midlife Ride. Be sure to leave your favorite pulled pork recipes down below. We would have loved to try them, and obviously we will try them, so please do that. Also subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every time we publish a new video. Until then, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.